ah, a molecule and some zombies. Can I hydrolyze, get the zombies to react with water? No, I can't. So they're probably not biodegradable. The plastic here is polylactic acid. I've actually just joined two of the monomers together. It has that ester linkage. And that is what makes it vulnerable to hydrolysis. It will react to water eventually, and that will biodegrade the plastic. So what happens? Water's H2O. The hydrogen will stick on there, and the OH from the water on the other side. Now, when you make a polyester, you generate water, and when you destroy a polyester, you add the water back on again. Hydrolysis. That is my 3D printer, and I'm currently printing a von Neumann probe. I wonder if we're ever gonna make one of those. Look it up if you don't know what it is. Back to the zombies, I'm gonna hydrolyze those dirty devils. There is a zombie sitting on a load of plastic chairs and a big plastic container pile. It's been attacked by fungi, which can also destroy plastic, and the sun rising there, sunlight, especially UV, can also degrade plastic and cause it to fail. Well, essentially these polymers or plastics have to have a vulnerability. So in chemistry, it's hydrolysis, which means they'll react with water eventually. It might take a while. Biological, they could be tasty for some bacteria or fungi, for example, to eat. Or physical, so sunlight has enough energy to break some chemical bonds and the ultraviolet light, especially higher energy. Or slow abrasion, which is, for example, a bottle just being constantly smashed against the seashore by the, by the waves. It's probably going to be a compromise. If you want your plastic to be biodegradable, you're probably going to lose some properties that you want. For example, I'd imagine that you'd have to keep them quite a quite dry environment if they, could, if they could hydrolyze. And let's look at this hydrolysis. So essentially the hydrolysis and breaking up the polyester or the polyamides uh, into smaller units. Now, those are both condensation polymers. So that's a polymer that when it's produced also produces a small extra molecule, normally water. Looking at polylactic acid, that's the one for 3D printers. I've got two repeating units there. Uh, and so let me show you what would happen if water came along. The water, uh, the hydrogen would go on there and the OH would go on there. And now I've regenerated the carboxylic acid part of the monomer on one side and I've regenerated the uh, alcohol part on the other. Alrighty. PCL is the newfangled uh, polymer that's gonna be uh, on the market soon uh, in increasing, uh, increasing numbers. Uh, so I'm gonna put a hydrogen in there and I'm gonna put an OH in there. Again, that's hydrolysis, adding water, move that over a little bit. A polyamide, a nylon 2, nylon 6, is a, is a polyamide. There's the amide linkage there. And again, just hydrolysis. I'm going to knock that out, knock that out, pop in a hydrogen, pop in an OH. I've regenerated the carboxylic acid again. And over here, I've, uh, I've regenerated the amine. Oh, that's not as hard as I thought it was going to be. And we're done.